morning, Friday 6th of July. We are ready for another nice day here in Esafan. So uh, we're just going to start by uh, seeing some of the, the main bridges here. Fortunately without water, but uh, let's go and have a look at the bridges. And, uh, then I think we should see uh, another palace and a mosque. So let's go and have another great day in Esafan. Hey, this is the first bridge, it's actually nowadays known as Love Bridge. This is where young people like to meet when they go on dates. Uh, let's go and have a look at this. You can see uh, it's completely dry this time of the year. It's best to come in the springtime. And, uh, Iran, as people can read in the news, is suffering from a water shortage at the moment. And we're here in the middle of the summer, so probably not the best time to come if you want to see water here. But uh, it must be spectacular to see when it's uh, when the water's flowing through it, and especially in the night, so when it's illuminated. What is it you're writing? A lion, I think. The acoustics of this bridge are amazing. If you, you can see it to see it. We'll demonstrate it if he talks here. Hello, Jamie. Hello, due to the shape of the roof, you can hear everything he's saying just there. It's like a, a loudspeaker. <laughs> Today is Friday, that means it's uh, the weekend today. And, uh, people are already sitting here, enjoying themselves and just relaxing under the bridge here. Hello mom, where do we eat today to lunch? How, which time I'm going into the bed today? Bridge is built in the 17th century. What a wonderful piece of Islamic architecture. Okay, this one here is called 33 Bridge. Mm, different theories why it's called 33 Bridge. The first one is that it was designed by an Armenian architect because Armenia is Christian. But, uh, he, Jesus was crucified when he was 33. That's the reason why there's 33 arches. Other people say the architect was a uh, his rank in the in the army was uh, he was 33rd in rank and the king was the 40th in rank and the other theory is that it's just the distance from there to there with equal spans is 33 arches who knows it's a very beautiful place Top of 33 bridge. oldest mosque in Esteban. Introduction to the church here. It's actually built on the Zoroastrian um, foundations and Zoroastrian church that used to be here. And Zoroastrianism, that's what the religion of Iran before Islam. And we'll be seeing more of this in Yats. You can see here, these are the original foundations and then when it, the mosque was uh, rebuilt as an Islamic mosque it was adjusted to face Mecca. And I can show you some pictures of it's been built up during the hundreds of years. but the less decorated one. Yeah, they're doing some excavation work and you actually can see this is the below the foundations there's a Zoroastrian uh, stone there that they're trying to excavate. 
Okay, domes are used in in Europe and in uh, the Islamic world, but the oldest dome in the whole world is actually in Iran and they're uh, located near Shiraz. And, uh, but Islamic domes are built on a square. You can see there's four walls here, square walls. And the way they convert a square to a dome is and then in the corners they have these uh, an extra dome. And above that you'll see there's another row of 16 and above that 32. And when you have that you can put on a circular dome on top of it all. Ingenious really. symbol, a swastika. We saw this as well in uh, Tabriz, in the mosque there. And, uh, of course the swastika, it wasn't uh, Adolf Hitler that uh, invented that. It's a very ancient symbol. It even goes back before Zoroastrianism. Um, has different meanings, people think. Not negative meanings, but positive meanings in the past. One of them that it symbolizes the sun. Another one is it symbolizes the four elements of the, the earth, wind, fire and water. Uh, Adolf Hitler, yeah, why did he use it? Some people say because he he came from the Aryan race. Of course, the Aryan race, those are the people that came from Russia and they formed Iran. And, uh, you can see it's used here. Also on the tiles, I just noticed up there. So it's a decoration. Also in Persepolis near Shiraz, it's also used, you can see, on this side as well. So, yes. If you like uh, symbology, then uh, it's interesting to to learn about things like this. Most things also used in India as well. It's, uh, actually, in Indian homes, you can actually see it above the doorway. It means welcome in Indian. Interesting. So now we're here in the smaller of the two domes. Again, built on a square base. Four corners. And then a dome in the top. Okay, the wave dance has got to a run. Now it's even on TV. Tomorrow we'll be here on the way to Yats in the middle of a desert and now we're here surrounded by so many green parks and green trees and flowers and roses and all kinds of things. Strange really. A beautiful city here in Asafa. Really. Inside the palace here. Inside the palace, you can see it's uh, the walls are illustrated with uh, paintings from the different wars during the generations between Iran and uh, Uzbekistan, depicted in several paintings here, and also wars with India. It's also shown in here. I think it's amazing exactly these paintings are several hundred years old but they look still brand new. I can't believe that these are so old. This is also known as 40 column palace. But if you actually count the columns, there's only 20. And the reason for that is because if you look from the opposite end, you can see 20 more columns reflected in the water. So 
that was a few more of the sites here. It's funny just walking down the road here, you get people in cars shouting at the window. Hello, welcome, welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> amazing, just amazing. And today is Friday, you see the shops are closed here now. So uh, it's not law, it, by law it's not, they're not, they don't have to close the shop, but uh, it's a personal choice if you're a private shop. A lot of the shops are closed now. Now I think so later we'll go uh, back to the park we were yesterday, or well, the square, and uh, try and experience that once again on a Friday evening. That should be good again. Okay. See you in the park maybe. Okay, now it's Friday evening. Just had dinner in the restaurant, and now we're going back down to the park. That's our blankets with us. We'll see if we can sit on the blanket and do a picnic Iranian style. And you can hear the Friday call to prayer. This is the main holiday day here in Iran. And in the evening's time here, this is when the town comes alive. In the afternoon there's not many people, but the evening time is really busy. So, now we're getting into the lifestyle here, I'm doing an Iranian picnic in the dark, together with the thousands of other people. We're probably the only ones here from Europe, I think, but never mind that. We feel very welcome. <laughs> and what is Pear doing? What is that? <laughs> in the land of no alcohol, you have to find another solution. <laughs> what is Jamie doing? <laughs> and what is Lena doing? Yours. Yeah. Danish people can live without alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was our two days in Esafan. That went quick. We've also seen quite a lot, really. I can't believe how many nice places we've seen and nice people we've spoken to, and so. Yeah, really enjoyed it here in Estefan. Really, really a great place. Tomorrow we're back in the minibus on the way to a place called Yats, and that's actually in the desert. So the nice temperatures here left behind, and it's going to be really hot, I think. But uh, should be interesting place. We're there one day, and then uh, we'll be moving on back to Tehran. But uh, tomorrow we are going to Yats. Okay, see you tomorrow.